Okay, let's talk about these new track markers in Pro Tools. All right, so Pro Tools 2023.6 was pushed out, I believe, June 8th of 2023. So right now it's the end of June as of filming this. Um, this should be releasing publicly in July. But um, I actually made an exception to my rule and updated Pro Tools kind of quickly after the release was put out. Um, usually I'll wait longer because I need it to be stable more than anything. But this time I did decide to live a little dangerously and I did run the update. And one of the features that is new that I have been using is the track markers feature. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. So what you're seeing here in Pro Tools, these markers here, these are main ruler markers. These are like the traditional markers, the markers that we previously had in Pro Tools. The reason why I don't have any track markers up yet in this session is because I'm just using this as an example session. This session is uh, one of the Clance and I'm songs I'm working on. So it's my music, mine and Evan Diamond's music. And um, I'm allowed to share the session. So that's why it's open. You might have seen it in previous sessions. Um, but I'm just going to create some track markers and kind of talk about what I've learned about using them so far and I hope it helps someone out there. So first of all to make a track marker you can kind of make a marker the same way that you usually do right so you can hit enter on the numeric keypad. If you're on a laptop that does not have a numeric keypad you can do function and then hit enter so hold down function and then hit enter and that'll open up your um, this you know this memory location window that you've probably seen before it just looks a little different now. So now you have the option of main ruler or track so I'm going to make a track marker instead of the main ruler marker we'll see the difference here in a second. You can do um, different color codings for them. Um, I'm going to make mine pink here for fun. Um, and then you just hit OK. So otherwise, you know, there's more details here that we could dig into. I'm just kind of focusing on the new track uh, marker feature here. So I'm going to hit OK. And it pops open here as a little sub lane below the track. And one thing that I've noticed is that it doesn't it's not specific to your playlist, right? So right now I'm on this comp playlist. If I switch to a different playlist, for example, the marker still stays right here. It doesn't go with whatever the playlist is. So um, I'm gonna go back to my comp so I don't mess things up. Um, one thing that you might notice as you start to use these is that if you drag them around, you can drag them to different tracks and you can drag them up and turn them into a main ruler marker and then vice versa. So if you previously used, for example, before this update, you could click and drag a marker off the uh, main ruler here and it would delete it. My, your your uh, mouse would turn into a little trash can icon and it would delete the marker. So that is no longer an option. So what I would recommend doing if you want to delete a marker is you can hold option or alt and click on it to delete the marker. I'm going to hit enter to create, actually, I'm going to do a different way to create a new one. So another way you can create a new track marker, um, if you're familiar with the markers ruler here, we used to click this little plus icon. You can still do it. I always just do enter on the numeric keypad because it's so much faster. But similarly, we have this new section here on our each of our tracks, and you can click the little plus icon here to open up the window. And, you know, similar to our other markers, you can rename them. Um, so I can be like mistake or something and put it right there and there it is. So now I have these notes that are specific to this track. So it lives with this track. If I move this track around my session, for example, it's going to move with it. So um, it's a great way to put notes that belong on an individual track. So for example, if you're tracking, this is kind of the big way that I've started using it. If you're tracking, you can put notes about, um, you know, sections that you want to replace or, um, you know, bad takes, good takes, stuff like that. And it'll be specific to the actual track instead of being across your whole session, um, which is how I was doing it before. I would have like my section, um, you know, my markers for the different sections of the song. And then I might also have like junk markers that are like talking about, you know, something that needs attention on a specific track or what have you. So now you can actually put it on the specific track and it's not going to jumble things up. Um, just a little bit, a little bit more control and a little bit more specific. So I really like that about it. Now the other thing, let me make a second marker here. So I'm just going to hit enter on the My New Air keypad and go to track here and then hit OK. So now I have a location 11 and a location 10. And if you're familiar with the markers on the main ruler, you know that you can jump between markers when you're on you know, any track in your session. You can go 
the uh, period on the numeric keypad and then the number for the marker and then period. So if I go period nine period, it brings my cursor to that end marker there. If I want to go one you know, more, I go period eight period, I can go to the outro marker. Let's say I want to go to chorus two, I can go period five period. That's why I name my markers with the number for the marker whenever I create one. So if you go enter to see what I'm talking about here, it's just the number right here that I add into the name so that I can see what the number is very easily and quickly. So you could do something similar with these. You just have to click into this little sub lane here first, and then you go period 10 period, and now you're at that mistake marker. You can check it out, see what you think, right? Period 11 period, same thing, brings you to that location 11 marker. Um, you can also click and drag them around just like before. Um, I showed you up and down dragging, but you can also click and drag it left and right, right? So. Um, I think that might be about it for these markers. Oh, and you can also do the color coding for the main uh, ruler markers. So if I drag this up, it stays pink. So you can also make main ruler markers different colors now, which is a lot of fun. Um, great for if you're using any kind of marker for multiple functions, right? So I could have all my yellow ones be for the different sections of the song. I could have all my pink ones be for some other fe feature that I wanna point out in the song. So I think that's great. I like that you can be much more specific with your notes. Um, you can write more details in here, right? So I can have like a bunch of comments about whatever the mistake was and what I'm planning on doing with it. And, you know, whatever I want to write here, I can write a little essay and it's there for me to look at later. So this is great for marking things that you want to revisit, for example. Um, you know, anything that comes up, let me know what, if you're using these already, what you're using them for. I'm kind of curious because I've just started using them this month. Um, it's just been a, a couple weeks, maybe not very long, but um, I have thought about consciously in the past how I wanted you know, how I wish they had markers that were specific to track. So when I saw that they finally did it, I um, I ran the update a little early. And maybe that's silly. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is as excited about these as I am. But um, here I am being weird, I guess. Um, the other thing is apparently these uh, translate really nicely from Media Composer. So if you use Media Composer, that's a new feature that's nice. That's not something that I've run into, so I can't really speak on it, but that is something that they said in their press release about it. And I think that's it. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know how you're using these in the comments below. I'm looking for ideas. Um, other than that, I have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise, and my patrons get access to additional content. The Discord server is the big thing that we've been focusing on lately. We've been hanging out on there. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you can join for as little as a dollar a month, so please feel free to check that out. It helps keep my channel going. Thank you so much to my Patreon patrons. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. I am. Um, I got my Bunny Kitty shirt on. If you don't know about Bunny Kitty, you should probably check out Bunny Kitty. Bunny Kitty is pretty cool. But um, yeah, I got to crank out a whole bunch of these for July for while I'm in New York. So I'm going to just move on to the next one. So, okay. Thanks. Bye.